Hey everyone, Chris Janet here for Card Player TV. I'm here to bring you a final table preview show for the World Poker Tour 5 Diamond Doyle Brunson Classic. Here are the six players who will take their seat at the televised final table tomorrow, starting with the short stack. Steve O'Dwyer is a Las Vegas resident. Most of his tournament caches have been online, but this summer at the World Series of Poker, he finished seventh in the $10,000 buy-in Heads Up event. This is his biggest cache thus far. I've got a 1.05 million, so like 18 big blinds. Real tough stack to play. Um, you know, I just picked up some pots and tried to maintain my stack, and a lot of people were really short, so ICM considerations involved. I, I can't really get out of line at all. I have to just play solid hands, so. Um, you know, I really only tried one big move for the day, and thank God it worked, so. Um, hey, I'm here. Usually, I mean, I know everybody play, every player at this table, but I think one of my biggest edges in most tournaments is that I don't think anybody does enough research on their opponents and I really I have the best group of friends in the world for poker players with you know Scott Seaver, Ike Haxton, Justin Bonomo. It's just an unbelievable wealth of knowledge I can you know find from them. I can always ask them about any player and I'll always get a good answer. Fifth and chips is Josh Arie from Atlanta. He has lifetime winnings of $4.9 million. He owns two World Series of Poker bracelets, one in the 1999 $3,000 buy-in limit hold'em event and the other in the 2005 $2,000 buy-in pot limit Omaha event. He also finished third in the World Series of Poker main event in 2004. He's also made one World Poker Tour final table. My chip count is 1.71 million. It went really well. I mean, I, I sat on like one million of chips and I was one of the short guys almost the entire time. And um, I really wasn't catching any cards. And then, um, you know, right before we went to one table, I picked up aces and there was a razor and I re-raised and I won that. And then, I mean, every pot you win is so big. So I picked up like 250 there. And then the very next hand, I raised and picked up another 130. And so I went from like a boring million dollar stack for so long. And now I had 1.5. You know, and then I got lucky against Scotty with two jacks against two aces, and then won another pot. And I, I mean, I, I, I'm extremely happy with the result today. I mean, I, I, I've like 30 minutes ago, I had the same thing that I ended day three with. So it's all good. Um, just staying focused and and making correct decisions and. I feel like I can do, I mean, I feel like that I'm going to make the best decisions and I feel like I'm going to get the most out of my stack. Uh, if, if I'm able to catch a hand, um, you really don't even need a cool, to cooler somebody as big as the limits are. I mean, if I can go on a little rush and win four blinds in one round, I mean, I'm going to be, I'm going to be up at 2.5 million again, you know, so it's, it's, it is what it is and we'll see what happens. In fourth chip position is Sean Buchanan. He's a former landscaper from Abbotsford, British Columbia. He's a prominent online player with 1.9 million in tournament winnings. He won a WPT title in 2007 in the Mandalay Bay Poker Championship event. Uh, my chip counts 2.8 million, which I'm happy with. Uh, the key to winning is going to be catching some cards and picking good spots. I mean, these are all great players, so it's, I'm going to have to get some cards, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, my toughest opponent don't really know, don't really want to say it, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're all really tough. I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. All really tough players. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of six-handed games, so I mean, I, I got a good feel for uh, situations and what people have, and I've played a lot of final tables too, so I, I, I'll be okay. We'll see what happens. Third in chips is Daniel Lai. He's a high-stakes cash game pro with two World Series of Poker bracelets. Won this year at the $10,000 buy in Omaha 8 or Better event and won in 2006 in the $5,000 No Limit Deuce to 7 event. He's got a total of $2.5 million in winnings. This is his first WPT final table. I got um, 3.925 million chips with six of us left. I got Faraz on my left. He's got a lot of chips. I know he's a, he's a really tough player. Um, Scotty's tough. Um, it, at the final table, you know, you, the cards dictate a lot of what's going on, so just I'm just going to go in there and play like I always do, you know. I'm not too worried about anybody. Um, well, t today was pretty smooth. I started with 2.4. Um, I didn't bust anybody. I, I was fortunate. I didn't really lose any pots, so pots I entered, I won, and I just, now I got almost 4 million, so 
Today was pretty smooth. Second in chips is Scotty Wynn. He's got five World Series of Poker bracelets, including one in the $50,000 horse event and the 1999 main event. He won a WPT title at the 2006 Gold Strike World Poker Open. This is his eighth World Poker Tour final table, tying him with Phil Ivey for the most in WPT history. I, uh, I start out tonight with 330,000 and first couple, uh, couple of hands, first half an hour, I didn't have a hand at all and I go down like 270,000 or something. But you know, baby, as long as I have chip in front of me, play your game, play poker. You your skill to get those chips back, not for hopefully moving in people muck. You know, baby. When I when I when I move in, I have a hand. You know, I make sure people they have to have underhand to get lucky to knock me out. But today, anybody get un underhand again against me, they double me up. You know, that skill bring you home. You know, so you know, so many hand I can play, I would have go bu bust it. But you know, baby, I just wait, I just sit and play my my game and. So that's, that's how my chip from 300,000 to 4.9, baby. And I lost a hand before that to Josh. I lost two million dollar hand to Josh. Josh had pocket jack, I have aces, and then, you know, he get lucky, run and die, diamond, he, he, he get there. But you know, baby, every one of us need the break like that. And that's what Josh had. Josh had break that hand. Other than that, he would be gone. You see, baby? But it's all good, you know? Coming in 16th player, I was last of the, the bottom of, uh, of the list. Now I'm on top with six player left. What do you think, baby? Five players, it's not gonna stop me, you know, baby? They are gonna be one gone at a time. <laughs> Your chip leader is Faraz Jaka from San Jose, California. He's a huge online player, which makes up for most of his $2.4 million in winnings. Earlier this year at the Bellagio Cup, he took second, and now he's looking for redemption. Um, I don't know my chip count actually. My chip count, I think it's around somewhere like 5.3. That sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I won a huge pot right at the end and I didn't recount. I knew I was chip leader, but 5 point something, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good going into the final table. Um, I pretty much know who everyone is, uh, what their style of play is. Um, the last time when I final table the Bellagio Cup here in July, uh, I hadn't played with a lot of those players, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, this time, like not only do I feel more experienced just being at another final table, uh, I know like I know the players a lot better. I know how they play and everything. So I'm definitely feeling real good with my position right now. I keep getting asked that question: Who is going to be my toughest opponent at final table? And that's something I'll never answer. I, I don't like I don't like people knowing what I think about them. That's a huge part of my game. So if there was someone I'm afraid of, I'm definitely not going to share that. Yeah, I got second in Blazer Cup, and I wasn't happy with that at all. And I'm feeling really good about this. And I'm definitely not going to accept anything less than first. These players are taking their seat at the WP. PT televised final table to play for that $1.5 million first place prize. Don't forget to follow along with the live updates by clicking on the CP Live button on the Card Player homepage. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV.